Okay, in this uh, screencast, I'm going to show you how to rip CDs using RealPlayer. Uh, and you're going to rip the audio tracks from the CD disc in, onto your computer uh, as MP3 tracks. One thing I need to point out is that some CDs are multimedia plus audio CDs. Okay, so let's insert a disc and see what happens. Uh, the best way to rip CDs is not to just pop them into your, uh, your CD burner or CD player. Make sure you open Real Player first and then pop, uh, pop the CD into the CD player. It's very important. If this had been a multimedia only CD, uh, then, it, then Real Player will let me know. If it's multimedia plus MP3, then Real Player will be able to rip the MP3 tracks from the multimedia disc. And here we go. Since it didn't prompt me to save the tracks to my library, I'll click Save Tracks. And I'll go ahead and click OK. If you click Play CD while saving, it will rip the disc much faster because it actually runs um, a little faster to keep up with hardware acceleration. So I always do that. I don't want to be play the song while I'm ripping it, but it's an Aerosmith CD, so it automatically found the artist, the the name of the album, and it's already got the genre listed here, and then there are the uh, um, song titles there. So it rips. Um, time is going to be about seven minutes for this to completely rip, and it is pretty pretty fast uh, when, when you click the option to play CD while ripping. Now. Uh, if you'll see track 14, that's because this is a multimedia disc. It's not going to save that track. That's just a data track to run the uh, uh, the multimedia or interactive um, part of the disc. So that's pretty much it. It automatically saves your music to whatever uh, you pre-select it to. But by default, it saves it to your music folder in My Documents. So... Uh, and you can see where's it at. There is the CD that I'm currently ripping. Nine Lives. You see these are all in MP3 format. So that's pretty much it. You just let this thing rip and do that for all of your audio CDs. Remember when you pop a disc in, have Real Player open already. The reason why is because had I not had Real Player open when I popped this Aerosmith CD into the disc player, Real player would never have opened up to recognize that there was MP3 files on the the disk because Auto Run, which is a .any file, will trigger your. Uh, in this case, I've got Nero. It would have triggered Nero to 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 play the DVD, the interactive part of the of the disk, rather than Real Player to be prompted to play the audio. So always have Real Player open. Then pop the disc in, and if it's a multimedia plus audio disc, you'll get the option to play the DVD through Windows Media Player, or you'll see the tracks listed as they are here, and the option to save. So remember that, and that's pretty much it. So good luck, and if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, please let me know. Take it easy.